Hi, this is Super Slinky 7. This is my first video that I'm going to be making, and it is in a series that is going to teach you how to do the basics and then later more complicated aspects of world edit. So, first, I'd like to show you the most basic thing that you can do. Um, you can get this tool by either selecting it with the wooden axe or by doing slash slash wand. All of the commands in World Edit are used with two slashes, and so that it can tell the difference between a single player command or World Edit. And this can also be found in multiplayer as a bucket plugin. So, basically, you left click to make the first position, and then you right click to make the second position. And once you have a selection, you can. there are a number of commands you can do. First one is set, and then the block name. You can either use the block ID, or you can use the name. Like, I'm going to say set cobblestone. And the area that within the region that I selected is cobblestone. However, you can also selects a cube area. So, also, undo. So, say I wanted to select a square or rectangle area. So, if I build up, and then I select it higher, and then lower, It will do the region between the two areas. There are also different types of commands you can do with your selection other than set. Like, say I just wanted to replace certain blocks, so if I put stone here, and I don't want to set it as a full square, I just want to replace what's in there. I can say replace, then the block that I want to replace, which is stone, and then I want to replace that with glowstone. Let me just reselect the area. This is acting up, but all right, let me pause this and figure out what the issue is, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, and I figured out what I was doing wrong. I was actually using the silver fish stone rather than the normal stone. So, as you can see, it's trying to spawn silver fish. So, let me replace that with normal stone. Let me can try that again. First position, second position, then you place stone with glowstone. There we go. So, there's even more that you can do. Say I wanted to outline it instead of just make it a solid cube. I could say, outline stone. So, if I dig, there's an inside. This can be very useful if you're making, like, say, a village for a multiplayer server and you want to make a bunch of houses. Uh, 
also along similar lines, you can do walls. Which is the same except there's no ceiling or floor. Also useful when making large buildings. So, you don't need to use the wooden axe or the wand to make things. There are also certain commands that instantly make blocks. So say I wanted to make a cylinder, like I did here to make this platform. I can do slash slash sil, which is short for cylinder, to find the block. Let's make it stone. And then it can say a certain number, like say eight. Then it makes a cylinder of stone going in each direction for eight blocks. I can also define a height. So say I wanted to say a cylinder of stone that's eight, but that's twenty blocks high. It's also useful command, because you oftentimes get stuck in your buildings. So you can use the unstuck command to get yourself out. So as you can see, I've made a cylinder that is 8 blocks in radius and 20 blocks high. Now, if I wanted to make it hollow, I can do the same thing but I can put an H before the C. So that's short for hollow. Then I get like more of a ring. And you can do the same thing for a sphere. Say I wanted to make a big sphere of like cobblestone. I can say sphere, cobblestone, then I say <clears throat> the radius. As you can see, I've made a 10 wide in every direction sphere. Similarly to the cylinder, if I put an H there, it will make a hollow sphere. So, basically, those are the, that's the bare minimum of World Edit. Now, you can do a lot of different things in World Edit, and I can't fit all that into one episode. So, this is going to be the first episode in a series of World Edit tutorials, where I will explain to you, basically, everything you would want or need to know about World Edit. Next episode, I will be teaching you about copying, pasting, stacking, that kind of things. So if you're curious, come back, and please comment, rate, and subscribe if you like what I'm doing.